Thanks for joining us in the Green Room from the Heritage Foundation. I'm Rob Bluey, and today we're joined by Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison, Republican of Texas, who has just visited Heritage Foundation to talk about Social Security reform. Mm -hmm. Senator, tell us why Social Security needs reform now. Because the Social Security trustees have just put out a report that says if we don't do something now to either cut benefits or raise taxes or uh, do something that reforms the system, it's going bankrupt in 2036. And the only alternative then is to cut benefits 23% or raise taxes drastically. So I put forward a proposal that will gradually increase the age, lower the cost of living increase slightly, and keep it solvent for 75 years with no tax increases and no core benefit cuts. Now, your colleague, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, said last year, quote, one of the myths around here is Social Security is in deep trouble. Social Security is not in deep trouble. It's something that it seems we hear a lot from liberals. So who is telling the truth? Well, it's clearly in trouble when its own trustees say that it's going bankrupt in 20 years, 25 years. Uh, if that's not a signal to everyone that we've got to do something now, then I don't know what it would take. You can either do something gradually so that it doesn't hurt very much but will keep it solvent in the long term, or you can do drastic things, and of course Harry Reid would like to increase the taxes on employers and employees today. Well, I can't think of something worse with 9% unemployment to tell an employer, oh, here's just another tax increase, and to tell the employee who doesn't have a job and wants to be hired, uh, oh yes, but you're going to have more taxes. That just doesn't make sense. Well, now your plan uh, reforms Social Security without raising taxes or cutting core benefits. So how are you able to do it? You increase the age by three months every year of retirement, both in the early retirement and in the normal retirement ages. So you would increase early retirement uh, from 62 where it is today, gradually to 63 and to 64 by 2023. Then on the n normal retirement age, and we all know people are living and working in great health for a lot longer today than when Social Security was started, we go uh, from where we would stop now at 67, and we're on the way there, we would go up to 69 by 2027. So it's, it's three months a year. If you're 58 or older, it wouldn't affect you at all. But then after that, 2016, we start three months per year adding to the age of retirement. So it's very gradual, and we would cut the uh, COLA by 1%. So if the inflation is 2.2%, your COLA would be cut about $11 a month. Now, Vice President Biden and, and lawmakers in Congress are currently debating the debt limit increase. Why do you want Social Security to be part of that discussion? Because you can't really make the reforms that would bring down this horrendous $14 trillion debt with just discretionary spending. And that's what we're trying to do. That's what the Biden group is trying to do. You can't get there. You've got to look at the mandatory spending. It's 60% of our spending. So you've got to look at that. And which of the two could you do more effectively and easily, Social Security or Medicare? I believe it's Social Security because Medicare is more complicated. It affects many more groups. And I think if you can look at the Social Security with a very gradual increase over 75 years, um, we can keep it whole. We can add to the lowering of the deficit significantly. Um, and it's the responsible thing to do. Senator Hutchison, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. For the Heritage Foundation, I'm Rob Bluey.